hello dear viewers you are welcome to this platform again as you all know that this is the platform where we share tips on our trading life and as well different kind of uh, strategies not just strategies but the strategies that are very profitable to our trading life so today i bring to you the strategy called uh, moving average crossover with a uh, fibonacci all right so this particular strategy i bet you it is very profitable if you can pay attention and follow the strategies i mean follow the instructions strictly all right and make sure you don't use this strategy on any time frame lesser than one hour time frame all right so it works on one hour time frame four hour time frame and daily time frame and this particular strategies works on currency pairs commodities metals and even derived synthetic indices all right so let's go ahead now to set the parameters for what we want to do on this uh, time frame i'm on four hour right so let's assume you don't have anything on your charts and uh, you don't have anything set at all we go to this particular max area as usual that is where we go to the indicators right so when i tap it it will take me to this area and let's assume you have only this main chart and this there nothing else is there all right so when you have that where we are going is to click this f icon and when you click the f icon it's going to take you to all the indicators that we have on the uh, platform all right so the only thing we want to use is the moving average we want to set the main chart now so the moving average is where we are going to so when you tap the moving average you have something like this so this is what we are going to need you can just uh, screenshot this and do the configuration after the video all right so don't forget to tap done when you are done and again we are still coming to this place again then you tap the f icon as we have here when you do that it will take you to this place and you are picking the moving average again all right picking the moving average when you tap the moving average it takes you to where you configure it so this time around this is what you are going to have the first one was 5 ema but this time around it is 8 simple moving average all right so tap done when you are through just screenshot it as usual then after that you go to stay same area again by tapping the f icon when you tap the f icon it takes you to where you have the moving average all right the moving average then when you tap the moving average it takes you to where you are going to edit again from the previous eight simple moving average to 20 moving average now all right so screenshot and save it do the configuration after the video so when you are through with this you tap done and you should have something like this as you can see on the screen so let me just give it to you what we have here the blue line that you can see on my chart is the 5 ema the orange as you can see is my 8 simple moving average and this white is my 20 simple moving average all right now since we have set the screen now i mean the chart now the next thing we need to do is going to your fibonacci tool we are using fibonacci retracement tool and what you need to do is on that tool we are going to edit it and make sure we set our level we are going to need only two levels here we are going to need level 127.2 okay that is the first level you will set there when you edit it then after doing that you set another level again which is level 161.8 we are going to set this as well so these are the levels where we are going to take our 
profit. So when you are through with that, don't forget to tap done when you are through editing. If you don't tap done, it will not save it. So that don't be surprised when you don't see anything there. So make sure you tap done when you are through editing. Then after that, very important thing that we need to take note of is what I'm about to do now. All right. What we are going to do is we want to wait for this crossover first. The blue line, which is 5 EMA, is going to cross this orange, which is 8 simple moving average. When it crosses this first, then you are getting ready to go long or go short. All right. So after crossing that, you now wait for the same blue line, as you can see here, to cross the white, which is 20 simple moving average. After crossing the orange, it will come back to cross the 20 simple moving average, which is the white color. So when it crosses, immediately it crosses this because we want to go long now. Immediately it crosses, the blue line crosses this white. Then you are going to look at the close after the blue crosses this white line above. All right. When it crosses it above like this, you are going to look at the close of that candle that the blue line crosses. Now, this is what I'm talking about now. Let me show it to you. Just bring this. Let me bring this to this like this. Now, watch closely. When you look at this area here, that is where the blue line, all right, closes, I mean, crosses above, all right? It crosses above the white line here. When it crosses, then the close of the candle should be this candle here, all right? Now, once you are able to identify that, just look at now. When it crosses, let me pick my arrow arrow tool to show you that okay this is what i'm talking about now look at this area now you see this is where the blue line crosses the white then when it crosses it goes like this as you can see so this particular point will be the close of that candle that the blue line crosses exactly here that is the area where it closes. Now, once you are able to identify where the candle closes after the cross, uh, the blue line crosses the white, then you take that point to be point A. Now, the week, the previous week, the low, low, low of that price, which is this area, you make it your point B, the week or the low of the price. So you make it your point B and you make this place your point A. Now what we are going to do here is you pick your Fibonacci tool which is retracement tool. You pick it and drag from this point A here. You drag it from point A here to this point B. When you drag it to point B it's going to give you those levels that we have created. The 127.2 and the 161.8 now let me try that and see what i'm talking about now so the arrow is where i picked my so i want to pick the icon now you tap the screen and pick this particular icon when you tap it it takes me to where i have the fibonacci retracement tool then when i pick it you drop it exactly on the arrow which is this place you can see where I dropped it now when you drop it like that you will not drag it drag it back to this week okay then you release it when you do that that is so the point of the arrow here will be your entry the moment you see that the candle closes there that is when you enter so when you enter there, you are now aiming at this level here, 127 as your TP1 and 161 as your TP2. Do not go beyond that. Don't be greedy. Close your trade. Even if you have $10 account, you can trade. 
using this particular strategy all right so that is how this works all right so which means you are riding from here to this place that is some box actually if we are not greedy and when you look at it actually you see that that is where the market returns you can see it has resistance level here as you can see so you will have already taken your tp before that thing reverses and even in this case it didn't exactly reverse there until this particular level here all right so don't go beyond the 161.8 at times it can extend if you know how to use candlestick patterns you may even ride beyond 161.8 level now after you have known your tp where will you place your stop loss your stop loss can be exactly where you have initial support all right so we expect our what our stop loss to be around this 161 i mean 61.8 sorry that is where we need to put our stop loss when you look at something happen here look at this place here you see that as the market was coming down like this it what it returns up before breaking it and it comes again to this same level come to that same level. it means that area is a as a is an important area so that is exactly you set your stop loss somewhere here you can see and you have your entry somewhere here and you write your trade to this point so this is how it works then another way around is if you are riding or let me see you have strong trend you may be riding but just be careful if you are not taking your uh, tp on the 161 so you may leave it until you have crossover that is the blue line is going to cross down that is the point here as you can see when you look at it carefully something like this just look at it now look at this point here you see that we have the blue line crossing down there so you may take your tp or target make it your target here then close your trade so this is how the strategy works you apply this on daily basis there's no way you not have any trade to open that day so that is the strategy and if the video helps you kindly comment and do not forget to like as well if you are viewing the video for the first time subscribe to the channel and help share the link to people out there to benefit as we are benefiting and if you still have any question to ask as pertaining the strategy or the one i posted before you can go straight away to our telegram channel which i will put the link in the description or i can even paste it on the screen of the video which you can see to follow to our channel and this particular strategy i'm going to give you detail of it as pdf that i will share with you on the uh, telegram channel so that is what i have to you i mean for you as pertaining this we can have different opportunities as you can see this is another buy here when we have the cross blue here then crossing white here so as for this street now your entry will be somewhere here and you take your tp here as you can see so this particular strategy is very very profitable very profitable it is tested all right so thank you for being there and see you around do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that when i drop any video you'll be the first person to be notified thank you